salutations. I have completed the contract. Excellent work, my friend. You impress me more and more every day. Here is what you have earned. I'm off. Goodbye for now. marks fewer members of the Order. Ah, good. I hope this one did not give you too much trouble. As a token of my deep gratitude, I want you to have this. You have done well, but there are more still. I have to go. Then go in peace. Look at you, Chewie. Good day. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenifordshire, but... The cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. From Fulke? Gods, that witch! It is there on the table. Fulke is with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kyotwe followed. The order that Basim and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred, and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Gidrich. Gidrich is an honest man, and will come when I call. Until that time, Basim will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. Aid me, be my eyes. Huh. 
Show me what lies ahead. Good day, Eivor. Fine work, really. Thank you for seeing this done. I've charted new maps. What is it you do here again? I've traveled this great country and found all manner of secrets, plus a few points of interest. For a price, my maps can be yours. What have you got for me today? Keep an eye out for wild animals here. I'm here if you need anything more. I must take... Keep exploring. Show me. I want to see the Alliance map. I asked that I travel to London. What do you know of it? A wild city, one that Hafton Ragnarsson tried to claim for himself years ago. But it resists all attempts to be held. Hytham claims the city is overrun by a strange cult. The Order of the Ancients. He asked that I track them down and kill them. Doing so may help the honest people there, and earn us an ally in the process. In a city so chaotic, it is worth a try. Approach by the North Gate and start asking around. I will. Good. I await your return. I should go.
Gengor. Where is Gengor? Let's get out of here. We must grow in these wars. Let's have a song. Let's hear a story. Unar the Ugly was an excellent sailor who could pilot. A good nickname must carry a good story. My nickname is Bjorn Blunton. And I too carry a story to go with my name. My nickname has nothing to do with battles, nor my love of beef and meat. It is due to fish. Years before I became a berserker, my greedy brother and I fished a mighty salmon on the Orkla River. The Jarl of that place had offered a silver horn to the fisher who caught the heaviest fish that day. I'd had little luck, until suddenly a fish as large as a pike leaped into my net. Yet it gleamed, sun gold, like a salmon should. I hauled the fish aboard, but once on deck it slipped my net and got free. I dove and held it down, but again it wriggled loose. I dove forward, but my greedy brother tackled me, so his son could spear the fish and claim the reward. While my brother pinned my arms, I crawled forward and bit the fish. Slamming it on the deck until it died. The prize was mine. That is how I earned my name, Blood. <laughs> Yet to my alpha, I was called Sweet, as I so loved her sweets. <laughs> Over there! Is there a sea skull to bug you? Dawn of Grand Bridge. For a top. Have you heard me tell? Friends, amid all this, not long before leaving for England, I made a solitary trek into the mountains east of Thornburg. I was looking for elk or deer or other game out. to bring home. But my luck was poor, and I could find nothing worth my arrows. Coming up over a rise, I saw a rounded mountain ahead of me, with a strange narrow slit in the earth, running left to right. There appeared to be fresh water in this crevasse, which was strange, for it was on its side. As I approached, the ground rumbled, and the crevasse shuddered. Then it opened, as wide as a lake, and ringed with color. Stepping back to take in the view, I realized with a shock what I was seeing. The Eye of Jormungandr, the World Serpent. Yes, he sleeps near old Thornburg, blessing us with his dreams. Oh, if we could return there now, I would show you the place. One day, maybe. One day I will show you the place. My favorite part of any battle is Take the moment before.
Save it for later. Triple Gate of London. Might find an official worth his salt hair. Easy now. I beg patience, all. We'll have this rack cleaned up in no time. Keep it steady, huh? The your love. Hey, where are Master Ami? You'll be on your way shortly, huh? Something of a shepherd, aren't you? I can feel that way, aye. Can I help you with something? The governor's this burr. I would like to speak with him, if I can. Ah, the governor Trigger. Good and fair dame come to London four years back. Trigger? Aye, most hours of the day you can find him at the old villa, <laughs> dealing with all manner of knavery. Stow! Avgos wants his cut of the summer harvest. Shit, Carl. <laughs> huh? What's the hold up? We are talking. Gentlemen, the farmers of Mercia have paid their burden already. If Avgos wants more, he can petition for it. Petition for it? Well, you can tell that old mud merchant. <laughs> And if he wants his apple, he can bob for it. Belongs to Master Ame, sir. Bob for it! That is filthy. Bob for it! like the devil stole in your bread. You give some hard knocks yourself. Rold, be a good lad and prick the names of those that pay their food tax, will you? Right then. You've some dealings with Governor Trigger, was that it? I will have dealings with any who can deliver a fair friendship with my Raven clan. If that is you, then all the better. Ah, no. Trigger's your fellow. I'm the Shire Reeve of London's westerly half. I keep things ordered and fair. Shire Reeve is not a name that rides easy on the tongue. Reeve's my title, sorry. Stowe's my name, Stowe of Lunden. It is good to meet you, Reeve Stowe. Lunden sits on sturdy shoulders. Uh, to be fair, I'm not the only Reeve. There are two of us now, and the governor to boot. We do our best in these times, wild as they are. Take me to your governor, Stowe. He sounds like a man worth knowing. Right then. Station field, flock shepherded, and off to Trigo we go. 
What can I call you? Humbler of thugs? Dane Hammer? I am Avo of the Raven Clan. We have a settlement to the north, just off the River Neen. Well, I owe you a great debt, Avo. You're a worthy ally. So, this is London, a city built by giants. So they say. She's an old place, surly as they come. But there's a mystery here I quite adore. I was raised here, in fact. I learned the scriptures of Christ's apostles in Lundinwich. I was Saxon Birret, just past the Western Walls. You're not a priest, are you? <laughs> no. I know, I was raised by them. And for a penniless bastard, I turned out pretty well. A penniless bastard, and now London's fearless reef. Well, it's Trigger who saw something in me. He judges not the circumstance of my birth. His two hands, left and right, are me and a Dane-born soldier, Erke. Erke is an orphan of the last Viking horde put down in London for a season. Two or three years back now, it must have been. It's through Trigger I met Erke, and now we Reeves walk the city like parents looking after our children. A native son, and an imported Dane. See, London's a city built of many pieces. Wait, something's wrong. Iron on the air. This blood is fresh. These were good men. What's happened here? to kill him. The next twelve were an insult. O oh Lord, deliver these men with the light of thy countenance visitive and shines upon them. You've no need for outsiders, Stowe. It's a private matter. There's no cause to be leery. Eivor had my back in a brawl at Cripplegate. More thugs from the garrison. Mm. You must be a real broker to hold your own against those shit hugs. It's time to fatter those men, Stowe. It can't go on like... like this. If this one had a head, you'd be calling him Trigger, yes? Your governor. God above, the man is dead. Some respect, please. We'll get along well, you and me. You must be Erke. London's second reeve. Erke Botelson, yes I am. Are you telling me this gut bucket called me Second Reef? First, in the Eastborough. And a man I trust with my life. Stowe's never been a good judge of character. Erke, this is Abel. He came to meet with Trigger, to seal the bonds of friendship with his clan. He would have welcomed you heartily. He was a trusting man. And I got him here. Have you found anything? I just arrived. The killers left a ladder. On the body there. I'll have a look around. Trigger had men with him at all times. How could the killers get through? They must have been known to him. Well enough to get close without suspicion. Good and holy Christ, that could be most anyone. He governed this burg. Oh. Yeah. What is it? Dirty notes from a mistress. Sorry. Mistresses? Intriga's desk? Ah, oh, yes. The old man had a wandering hand. And I... I didn't know. I didn't think. He didn't want you to. It was his secret to keep. This letter. Someone wanted us to see it. From Rome, when an order of heretics who worshipped the relics of a time before Christ. Erke, this was the letter he told us about. Said it contained fearful news about London. It warns of three such heathens who have infiltrated London. His killers, I expect. Find anything? Besides enough blood to repaint the city's faded bricks. No. A barber surgeon's tools. Sharp and precise for easy butchery. 
must have been what was used to free Trigger's head from his neck. while Eivor does all the work. Three sets of footprints leave. Two average and one massive. I do not envy this man's death. Hang on. There's something in his hand. This was not Trigger's seal? No. It looks Roman in origin. It must have been on a ladder he opened. It must have been significant to this guard for him to grasp it even in death. Mayhaps it's what got him killed. I think I have a clear idea of what happened here. Trigger was shot where he sat. Probably as he read the letter. One of his guards grabbed the seal tried to escape. He didn't make it. A second killer found him first. He met his end at the noose, lifted by the bigger man. A third attack took his eyes, then came for Trigger's head. Symbolic, maybe. Headless leader, eyeless guards. The killers were without fear. This killer was a message. Their footprints leave together, three sets heading back to the courtyard. The letter mentions three heretics, named only by Manicus. The leech, the arrow, the compass. Signed by someone calling himself a poor fellow soldier of Christ. Poor fellow soldier. Odd name. Three names, three killers, as you said. Baldersack. It could be anyone in London. Who can we trust? Only the people in this room, I fear. Even that would be unwise, until we know more. The arrow is described as a pugnacious Dane invader. That describes too many in London. The leech hails from Vesex. London is home to many of them as well. And the compass, a Frankish captain. Less common, but no face comes to mind. What is this symbol here? I recognize that from the Mithraic temple. I passed it on the way here. 
The Thraic Temple. Is that a church? A church? Heavens, no. Mithras was a pagan idea. A so-called god beloved by the ancient soldiers that built this city. Our city is overrun with cowards. We may be next to fall if we don't resolve this sick fermentation of hate. I've told you, this city answers to blood and power. We should serve as such. I can't leave him like this. He's... I need to. We'll get the church to see to it, though. No. No, it should be me. I must ready him for judgment. I understand. Only get some air from time to time. It reeks in here. Shall we, Broga? The gods have been murdered! Defend Rippers! Ah, well, now the locals have caught a whiff of this fatted mess. The temple is yours to explore, Eivor. It's to the east of here. I must wear my Reeves face for a time. Keep away! Keep away! The fight is over! Town Hall will follow soon. Should the Reeves change their minds, I will have to gut them and put a puppet atop London's throne. But Stowe seems a good man. I will trust his word. <laughs> Temple of Mithras, well guarded for a tangle of old ruins. I need to find the entrance. <laughs> this area is off limits. What's the problem?
tools for a surgeon, finely crafted. Like we found in the villa. And there's a letter here, arranging payment to a blacksmith. The compass holds sway over the others. He has ordered the arrow to recruit archers in a market to the west. Worth a wizard. Messages between the leech and the compass. Healing. Gutting. The leech is a strange one, but the compass calls the strikes. I've got enough to go on for now. Erke and Stowe must see all this. I see more bloodshed in London's future. At least Sunin will feast. Attack on sight here. It's worth knocking on a few doors, that's all I'm saying. Trigger wasn't killed because you want to plant a few trees and fix a few roofs in London. Looks less like a meal for crows in here. Hey, boy. You bring good findings, I hope? A few sheets of vellum. Notes between members of a secret society. The Order of the Ancients, they are called. Order of the Ancients? Doesn't sound any bells in this head. What's the purpose? That would take some time to explain. But know this, that I am here to kill them. In London. It seems the compass is the head. The arrow and the leech are his hands. Pet names and secret orders. What a crock. Do we know anything we can act on? The arrow is a Dane who has seen his share of battle. 
His name suggests he is an archer. <laughs> I bet my knuckles he's the one sowing discord among the Danes that shelter in London. If it were me, I'd hide among my ranks, surrounded by other fighting men. The Arrow has orders from the Compass to recruit soldiers at a market in the West. I know the very place. The Leech has need of flesh. Been looking for thralls, though I cannot say why. We found a number of dead down by the Keys lately, but not thralls alone. Some of the missing we find again in several places, cut to pieces. Good Lord, Erke. The compass is a mystery. He is mentioned often, but there is little to go on. Said he was a Frankish captain, did you? To find him, we'd have to mark the ships that came and went along the Thames. Captains are a transient sort. It may be he's far away, keeping quiet. That may be, but would he scream if we cut off his hands? Oh, you've a filthy mind for strategy. You kill the arrow and the leech, then sit back and wait. Let the compass come to us. Let us not waste any more time. We'll find the arrow and the leech. Killing both should drag the compass back into port. So, I will catch you at the Western Market. Count on it. And I'll make for the keys. There's another few bodies there to fish out of the muck. It could be the leech is back at work. God be with us, friends. Go in his name, and be protected by him. <laughs>